All right, we are going to learn how to reproduce this wonderful magic bubble chart by using a combination of the scatterplot tool and the pie graph tool in Adobe Illustrator. So first off, you need your data. Um, I pulled this data from the World Bank. It is GDP per capita, proportion of seats held by women in national parliaments, and the labor force participation rate uh, in percent for women. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a scatter plot where one axis is the percent female national parliament, the other axis is the percent women in the workforce. We're going to plot all of our circles, and then every circle is going to be sized according to what the GDP of that country is. All right, let's do this. The first thing we're going to need to do is draw out our base scatter plot. Um, we're using our tool over here. If it's the column graph tool, click and hold, and then go down to scatter graph tool. Then you're going to draw it out, and there will be nothing on it. So we're going to go into here. We're going to select these two columns from Excel, and we're going to paste them right on in. It will throw down some spots. Your lines might all be connected. The way to get rid of that and the way to make this start from the zero and go to 80 um, is you're going to go right click, type, uncheck connect data points, and then go to bottom access, override calculated values, minimum zero, maximum 80, divisions eight. Beautiful, right? Now later on, we're probably going to want to have lines going all the way across so we can really see these points. So I'm going to actually go back into our type menu, value axis, tick marks, full width, bottom axis, tick marks, full width. Great. So now we're going to have a nice grid that all of these are going to be based on. So we do have these circles in here, but these circles are not or the squares, I guess, but they're not sized according to what we need them to be sized by. We need them to be sized by GDP. So we're going to do a secret trick. We're going to go back to our graph tool, but we're going to go to the pie graph tool. And we're going to select down here, drag it on out, and put in these two fields. So the name of the country and then the GDP per capita. We're going to paste that in. And hey, look at that. We have a bunch of appropriately sized circles. Now all we need to do is take these circles and move them onto this chart. So let's see, um, one is about 20 and 20. That is Saudi Arabia. Oh, so one problem you're going to run into is you need to ungroup everything before you'll be able to drag the circles onto these. Um, even if you use the white selection tool, it's just not going to center correctly when you try to plop it down. So. We're going to select this graph. We're going to go to Object, Ungroup. It's going to yell. It contains a graph. Do we care? It's fine. Ungroup, ungroup, ungroup. And then we're done there. Now we have to do the same thing to the pies. Ungroup, yes. Ungroup, ungroup, ungroup. And now we're done. Great. So Saudi Arabia, come with me to so here. Um, we have something that is maybe 14 and 29. 14 and 29 is Turkey. There's no better way to do this um, other than kind of eyeballing it, which can cause some problems. You also might want to zoom in. Uh, we have one that's 60 ish and 9, 9, 67, Bhutan. Is that in there? Um, zooming in is really good for making sure everything fits exactly where it's supposed to go. United States is uh, 19 and 56, or 59, 6, 56 and 19. Yes, so we're right there. So now we can delete all of these labels, we can delete this, we can delete this, we can style our lines here. I'm going to make them fade out and be a little bit dotted. Um, the way I'm going to do that is window, go to the stroke palette, which is hiding from me somewhere. There we go. Stroke palette's right here. We're going to say dashed line, two point by two point, and we're going to change the color up here to a light gray. So now we have a nice Actually, it's slightly ugly background, but that's fine. We're not trying to win any design awards here. Yeah, it's a little bit better. All right, so now we need to change the color of all of these. Um, let's just make them a nice uh, reddish color. <clears throat> We're going to have to go to, you know, we can change it up here. Uh, We're going to change it to, oh, it didn't work up there. RGB colors, so you can see it, but oddly, there's this weird line that goes down the middle. This is because all of these are actually single slice pies. Uh, and so that's the division between the first pie and the end of the first pie. The best way to get rid of that is just to get rid of the stroke. Um, and then you will um, 
Great. But let's say we wanted to highlight a few of them. So we're going to highlight our outliers, our Finland, our Bhutan, and our Saudi Arabia. So if we select Finland, Bhutan, and Saudi Arabia, we give it a little bit of a stroke, like a two-point stroke. There's the problem that the line goes down the middle. So the way to get rid of that is you take the white selection tool, you click that center point, hit delete. Click that center point, hit delete. Click that center point, hit delete. Looking good, right? So here we can say, uh, if you click on it, it will turn it into a trying to type around the edge of the circle. Be sure you don't do that. So we'll type out here, Saudi Arabia. They have a GDP of this much. Regular size text for that part. Maybe size it down to 12. And then we're going to copy this. We're going to say Finland. Finland's GDP is this number. I'll round that up because no one likes decimal points. And for Bhutan here, we are going to say and then for expediency, I'm just going to steal these titles from over here. And let's style the axes a little bit, get rid of every other one. We don't need two zeros, we can just deal with one of them. Um, yeah, I should have spaced that out a little bit better, but so it goes. All right, and there we have it, a beautiful bubble chart of uh, different countries around the world.